shortly after I joined the Broad Inst Institute, I was introduced by a person who is now an associate member of the Broad Institute, Matt van der Heiden, to a colleague of his named Brian Wolpen, who is an oncologist at Dana-Farber. He was interested to, find, uh, to know whether or not we could measure or uh, discover prognostic indicators in the plasma of people that go or are later diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. Uh, I was concerned about our ability to find an indicator in plasma many years before clinical diagnosis. Nevertheless, um, uh, Brian persevered in obtaining funding and obtaining samples from four very large prospective clinical cohorts. In total, those cohorts enrolled over 260,000 subjects, a subset of whom uh, were diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. In total, we had samples from nearly 500 cases of of, of future pancreatic cancer and samples from uh, nearly a thousand match controls. Um, at the conclusion of the work, uh, uh, Brian was assisted by a postdoc in his lab named Chen Wu, who conducted the statistical analyses in the samples. And what Chen found was that um, we were able to detect uh, a, a signature that predicted future pancreatic cancer that was comprised of three branched chain amino acids, leucine, isoleucine, and valine, um, that was statistically significant up to five years before clinical diagnosis of pancreatic cancer. So this was, we were astonished and, and incredibly pleased uh, with this result. It was not clear as to why uh, the branched chain amino acids were elevated in, in pancreatic cancer. But working with uh, Matt and a postdoc in his lab, Jared Myers, uh, they began to do studies of, uh, of branched chain amino acid levels in their mouse model. Uh, and Jared looked at um, the levels of branched chain amino acids as a function of time in these animals and how it related to the development of pancreatic cancer. And what they found was the elevated levels that were observed in the animals uh, appeared to come from the uh, catabolism of the protein pool, which suggested that the, there was increased protein turnover in these animals uh, very early in, during disease progression. Two uh, lines of investigation. One is to determine, well, what are those signals that cause increased turnover of, of muscle uh, protein and give rise to these elevated levels of branched-chain amino acids? The other avenue of investigation uh, that we're endeavoring to pursue is to determine using um, an, our more recent and updated uh, metabolomics platform that enables us to measure both known metabolites and many thousands of signals from un unknown yet to be identified metabolites um, to determine whether or not we can find other stronger indicators of pancreatic cancer that may be used as, say, biomarkers for disease.